G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, uh, we're going to be doing a pretty exciting video. This is the top five FPV racing drones that you can get in 2017 for under 200 bucks. So if you're looking to get into the hobby and you're thinking, Stuart, I don't know what drone to get. There's so many out there, and you'd be right, and I've reviewed a ton. Some are lemons, some are awesome, some are cheap, some cost a ton of money. This video is for you. So if you want to get into the FPV drone racing, all these drones that I'm going to show you, these top five, they're all under 200 bucks. Also too, don't make the mistake of thinking just because this is under 200 bucks, it doesn't lack performance. All the quads that I'm going to list off are absolute killers on the racetrack. Now everything I talk about, I'll link everything down below. So if you're interested, go and check that out. But let's kick it off uh, for the 2017, the top five FPV racing drones that you can get. Let's kick it off with number five. So in fifth place, we've got the Wizard X220. Now don't get this confused with the X220. S. I will link the X220 down below and this is coming in at number five because it's a really robust fantastic starter quad. If you want to get into the hobby you're looking for something that's really strong it's got some pretty good components on here at an amazing price. So I know for me if I was a beginner this is the one that I would recommend if you're really after something that can take a beating and it's got Bioheli S ESCs which is like a really good hardware design which is pretty much the current tech that even the best drones are using out there right now. Fairly lightweight it comes with a ton of props you know but there is some things you might want to upgrade on here as well I mean for the price it is super cheap and this drone I know a lot of people got into the hobby using this and I did a video on this a little while ago and I'll, all these reviews I'll link to I'll leave a little card if you want to go check out the a big detailed review of this one but this bad boy is an absolute stunner at its price and probably its biggest point it can really take a crash so the original wizard x220 I've got no qualms whatsoever and for its price I think you're going to get a ton of fun now some of the limitations of this one and why this one came in at number five and this is going to be common across some of the lower ones uh, we actually have no OSD so when you're flying around you've got a great video when you're flying around but you don't have any like on-screen display so you can't read out what your voltage is you don't know how long you've been flying for you sort of got to you know judge that thing as you're going along so that would be one upgrade you could think about putting in this maybe if you put in a new camera but that's why this one comes in at number five because some of the other ones we talk about actually do have an OSD so for about 140 bucks I think uh, this one is a great quad if you want to jump into the hobby and you're looking for something that's a little bit more robust. I'd say this is one of the more robust ones on this list. This thing surely can take a beating. All right, let's move on and check out the next one on the list. Alrighty, so coming in at number four and you can see uh, this one is well used. It's a little bit dirty. I'll probably show you some nicer pictures on the screen and that is because I fly this one all the time and this is the only one on the list that comes as parts. You've actually got to put it together. Now, what what is this, Stuart? This is actually a quad that, not that I design myself but I picked out all the parts and uh, I think the reason this one's on the list at number four it's the $99 UAV Futures build and there's a whole guide I'll link to it up here if you want to know how to build this one from scratch and some of the benefits of building your own you know if it breaks you know how to put it together and there is a ton of upgrade options so the original one well, it's the $99 build. So this one's price is almost unbeatable out there for its performance, its dollar to performance ratio, and there is a whole bunch of upgrades. So the original $99 one, it didn't have an OSD, kind of like that one, you know, and it didn't have the most powerful motors. It still absolutely rips around. But uh, for, for a few extra bucks, you know, if you put in a little bit of extra money, you know, it'd still be cheaper than getting the original Wizard, you know, you're going to have a real powerhouse of a little quad. Now, I really do like this quad. It's got a special place in my heart, not just because it's the UAV Futures $99 build, but I've got so many emails from people saying, Stuart, thanks so much. I learned so much building this and I'm having an absolute ton ripping around. So, look, that's coming in at the fourth spot. And if you want to get into the hobby and you want to learn something and some new skills and also know how to repair it and have the satisfaction of building a craft yourself, so that is performance packed and super cheap. I think the uh, the $99 build, you can't come go wrong. So that's coming in at fourth place. Now, number three, third place on the podium. This one's pushing it up there. This one is the most expensive one in our category for under 200 bucks. This one is $199. And this is the Diatone Tyrant S. And uh, I did a review, you know, all these, I'll leave a link to the Tyrant S just up here somewhere if you want to watch the big in-depth review. But basically this one, out of the box, it flies really beautifully. It's an absolute tank. It's got a really solid frame. And uh, I know you can see just how dirty this one is. So this one's actually handed over to Grumpy Trev. 
and he's been flying this non-stop so he absolutely loves the Tyrant S and uh, I think you know it's a really solid flying quad it flies really nice but there is some things that hold it back from reaching that top spot number one it's the most expensive one on our list you know 200 bucks that's might be you know 199 dollars it's just scraping in there and uh, the only other part I wish that you could actually do and Trevor's done it in this one he's upgraded his where he has an OSD in there so that's that on-screen display so he can actually find out his voltage and all those sorts of things and how long he's been flying around when he's out sort of zipping around and pushing his batteries but for when you get it out in the stock version you don't have that option now uh, one of the reasons it flies so well it does have this little lower plate so a lower center of gravity you do need to be careful that your battery is secured tightly because you don't want to cut any props on there you can see Trevor's put some extra velcro on his on his little pads right here so nothing's going to be sliding around and a big bonus of this one, it comes with a GoPro holder. If you want to mount like an action camera to get some really good HD recordings on the front of your quad as you're zipping around and racing your mates, this bad boy has got you covered because it's got this nice little stand here at the front where it puts your GoPro on a nice angle. So when you're flying forward at a fast speed, you've got a great way to record, you know, with your GoPro. You don't need to go out and purchase an extra mount. So that's why that one comes in at third place. And I think anyone who's uh, seen Trev's videos or, you know, seen him flying around, he, he, he takes this one there with him everywhere he goes and it's withstood the test of time. It's absolutely filthy, you know, so this one is one of the dirtiest quads that I've seen, but uh, he absolutely loves it and it's just still really going strong. So a good solid quad there. Definitely can't go wrong with one of these. Now, let's have a look at the silver medal for under 200 bucks. What does second place look like? So the silver medal on the podium goes to this bad boy right here. I absolutely love this one, but the name I think is really stupid. So it's the Fury B Futon 200. You know, I don't really really like the name at all but the quad I am definitely a big fan of and I think this one's about 190 bucks I'll leave a link down below anyway and the, obviously I'll stick a review card up here if you want to go watch that a detailed review of this bad boy but this one it's extremely light it's really robust it contains an OSD as well which is a massive plus the first one in this category for under the 200 bucks we can actually see your flight times when you're flying around you're going to be able to see when you've got the goggles down you're flying around using its camera you can see you know its voltage how long it's been flying for which is really really useful so you you're not going to be wrecking any batteries when you come in. It comes with it, you know, it's got a good camera in here. It's a super clean build and you can see I've thrashed this one around quite a bit. It looks very different to the pictures when I first got it because it's uh, it's very messy. I've had a lot of fun with it. And this one also comes with a GoPro holder as well. So look, if you're, to, I think this is a fantastic quad and this would have been my number one pick until very recently. Uh, we had a bit of, not a game changer, but we had a very similar quad at a drastically cheaper price, which takes us on to number one. So, all right, Stuart, what is number one? Let's check it out. Okay, so in first place for my best FPV racing drone for under 200 bucks in 2017 is this bad boy right here, and this is the b Fight. 200. Now this bad boy right here, I've only just finished doing the part one review, but since filming that I have taken it out and ripped this thing around. That's why it's a little bit dirty. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast of a quadcopter. It's pretty much got all the advantages of the Fury B, but it's like 25% cheaper. So this bad boy right here is around 150 bucks. There's some other options too where you can get inbuilt receivers and all that sort of stuff, but it's got all the advantages of the other one. Look, it's not perfect, but then again, it's only $150 and uh, it's not really fair comparing it to some of those $500 quads out there. Now, everything in here is really, really cool. I like the ESCs. I love the VTX. I love the FPV antenna. It doesn't come with a GoPro mount. And is this one the best one for beginners? I'm gonna say no. Probably not versus some of the other ones because uh, the camera at the front, you might the camera is a little bit more susceptible to a crash. So I do wish it offered some better protection out there. I think the original Wizard that we reviewed at the start, if you're going to be crashing a lot, that one's probably a little bit more robust and a very very similar price range. But if you're you know if you're into drone racing, you're after something that has performance, really good price, and uh, absolutely rips it around with a nice super light little frame. I don't think you can go past the B-Flight 200. So I'll link this down below as well. But uh, yeah, I think that's why this one takes out the first place. But regardless of what one you're gonna get, they've all got different pros and cons, but for under 200 bucks, you definitely can't go wrong. You know, when I first got into the hobby, drones were so expensive. All these drones absolutely beat the snot out of those first drones that I would have first have. I would have absolutely killed to have any of these. And uh, you know, it's a really exciting time for anyone who wants to get into FPV drone racing. It's never been cheaper and you've never had better access to good gear at such a really good cost. Now you might be thinking, Stuart, well, what's the difference? You know, I guess if I hold these two up here, this one, this is the Norris frame from Catalyst Machine Works. I'll link that down below as well, but that's about 500 US dollars ready to go. 
This one's about 150. So is this thing four times better than this? I would say a definitely not and nowhere near. This is definitely a top. This is like as good as you can get. But uh, if you've got the skills to pay the bills, I would say a pro pilot anytime versus a novice. This, the person flying this with the right skills is going to whoop the pants off this one anyway. So uh, that's the exciting thing about drone racing. It's not about who's got the best gear. It's got, it's about who's got the best skills. And you know, now more than ever, it's never been so accessible. Anyway, hopefully you guys like that. Remember, everything is linked down below. But I also want to know what one would you get and why? Because those are five really solid options. And I know they're my choices, and there might be some others out there. And definitely feel free to comment those. I've reviewed a ton of drones in the past and look they're my five top recommendations there might be some others out there but I feel like I have some pretty good experience with you know from top notch all the way to top budget you know checking those things out so I don't know what ones would you get subscribe for more FPV related content if you're new to the channel because look we've got heaps of stuff we talk about these drones all the time and as always happy flying Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.